So, you're having some problems with your Acer Switch 10. Hmm. Hey guys, what is up? It is Reese's Tech Pieces, and I am back for another video. So today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going into a quick how to fix slash repair the Acer Aspire Switch 10 laptop tablet. Um, so the one I have here is having an issue where if I plug in the charger, the little power button on the other side, there's a little LED indicator, and that is not showing. So I don't think it's getting a charge. But um, we're going to go ahead and do a quick test, a few quick tests. We're going to figure out what the problem is and hopefully we can fix it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. Alrighty guys, so here I have my Acer Aspire Switch 10. We're going to go ahead and get right into the problem that I had. I'm going to talk about one other solution that I know has worked for a lot of people. And then we're going to go ahead and open up the tablet and I'm going to show you the problem that my tablet had. Um, and maybe yours is having as well. So first off, I'm going to, so this is the charger I was using. This is not the standard Acer charger. Um, and I first tested it with a multimeter and it showed up for me. Um, I was using the multimeter incorrectly, um, but it was saying that it was not working correctly. So I ordered a new one. It turns out the power supply was working fine. Um, but the issue I was having um, is I would plug in the power cable right in there. And then on the other side, the little LED light on the power switch that tells whether or not it's getting power and charging did not light up. So I know a lot of other people have had the same problem and all they needed to do was press the power button and the volume down button for about 30 seconds or so and that has helped to fix their problems. However, mine was a hardware issue and that's why we needed to go ahead and open it up. So let's go ahead. I'll show you guys how to get right into the tablet and we'll move along from there. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to be using our handy dandy ProTech toolkit that iFixit sent out a little while ago. So what we're going to do is we're going to use about two tools, that's about it, uh, maybe three. So we're going to use this metal spudger right here, this little jimmy right here so it has kind of a thinner blade. And you can substitute for other tools if you don't have these. Um, just kind of thin, um, pretty stiff little uh, kind of jimmies or anything that you can get in between the back and the front kind of cover to split it open. And then a pair of just fine point little tweezers to tear off some of the tape that holds down the wires and stuff. That is all we're going to need for tearing this open and fixing the problem. It is very simple. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so what we're going to do to get into the tablet is we're going to first take our little jimmy and we're going to run it kind of in that little line on the back that separates this back kind of panel from this front more silvery plastic. So we're going to go ahead, hold the uh, little spudger in one hand. So that's this. Um, it doesn't really matter too much what end you use. I using I like using this end a little bit better. We're going to go ahead and separate the panels with the jimmy and then go ahead and stick that little um, spudger in there and just kind of run it along the back. And the first time you do this, it's going to be a little harder than, um, the, than uh, if you do it a couple times. Um, and so once you have ran it along, you can see the panels are starting to separate. You're going to keep running it along. I'll zoom in there for you guys so you can see that a little better. Um, so you can see those panels are separating. You're just going to keep running it along and those panels are just going to separate. It's really easy. Um, you don't have to be super worried about breaking anything. Of course, you don't want to just be slamming this in there. You want to be gentle with it um, and make sure you're not damaging any of the parts. Um, and you should hear a click generally with each of the little um, kind of tabs when it breaks off, not breaks off, but when it kind of unsnaps. So you can see I just ran the little spudger all the way around and I got this back panel off. So we're not going to need to do anything with this. So we're going to set it off to the side. Now in here, I'm going to go ahead and get you guys a better view so you can see kind of what we're dealing with. Alrighty guys, so here is the back of the motherboard. Um, so first, what you're going to want to do, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you right over here. This is the power port right here. And if you see, um, I'll go ahead and use my tweezers to kind of show you. So there's this little plus or little piece of tape on there. So you go ahead, pull that off and just kind of set it on the side um, for a second. So you can see that is where the little um, 
power connector plugs in. Just make sure that's nice and seated. And then another thing to test to test whether this little chip is bad or the um, little actual charging port is bad is go ahead and put a multimeter on the little pins. So the up the top two pins are for the power and then the bottom two are for the ground. So if you go ahead and hook the multimeter up there, you should be getting 12 volts in. Um, so once you've done that and made sure that your motherboard is actually getting power, the next thing you might want to go over to the connector that plugs in sorry plugs into the battery and make sure that the battery is actually getting power so the again the top two pins are for power and then the bottom two are for ground so you can again use your multimeter for that to make sure that that is um, nice and secure and that the battery is getting power so once you've done both of those things go around the motherboard there's quite a few little ribbon cable connectors so you can see one down there this one I actually um, I wasn't sure how to get it off right down there you can see that little ribbon cable, there's a little tab, that one you just pull straight out, there's no little lip or anything like that, whereas on some of these upper ones right up there, there's a little black lip that you're going to have to tip up, and then the ribbon cable comes out, that one is a bit different, I just wanted to mention that because I didn't figure out, I wasn't able to figure out for a little bit how to get that open. So, now for the problem that fixed, um, or the solution that helped to fix my issue. So, you're going to see this large ribbon cable running across the battery and coming down to the motherboard. And over here, there's a little chip that contains all of the buttons, the headphone jack, and all this stuff like that. So the power button is right up here. Now, I first tested right down here the little ribbon cable connection going to the motherboard. So you're going to go ahead, pull off that tape just so you can see right in there, um, and just set that off to the side. So you can see right in there, there's a little ribbon cable. And this one, you do need to tip up that little black plastic tab and you can pull the little ribbon cable out. Just make sure um, it helps to just pull that out and reseat it. So pull it out, reseat it, and just make sure everything is nice and secure because I know if you do drop the tablet, that little ribbon cable can come out and that means that the motherboard or the little circuit board for the buttons is not going to be getting power and therefore the light is not going to be showing up on the button indicate on the um, power button and the button is not going to work itself. So after you have tested that, go ahead and try plugging in your um, computer make sure it is not working because if it is working then there you go you fixed your problem however the um, part that I had to fix was on the other end so on the little chip that contains the power switch and all that good stuff that was the end that had the loose ribbon cable so go ahead go over to that other end and make sure I'll get you guys a better view that little ribbon cable right up there um, whoops so I'll pull that off for you guys um, so right there, um, that is what I had to pull out and re and this one also had the little tab, the black tab that you had to lift up and then push down. And then once you go ahead and re both of those, um, hopefully that was your problem and that's all you had to go ahead and fix. Um, that's all that was wrong with my tablet, so make sure before you go ahead and order a new motherboard for your Acer Aspire Switch 10, go ahead, make sure all the connectors on the motherboard are nice and set in place. Um, and make sure everything is nice and snug. You don't want to have any loose ribbon cables or anything like that because that might be the only problem you have. So that's all I have for this video. Um, oh, one other thing, sorry. Um, these little magnets down here, I did have a problem when I put the uh, Switch 10 back together. Make sure, go ahead, connect to the keyboard before you put the um, back on because I had to open it up about two other times so what happens is um, these little magnets in there that connect to the keyboard and hold the tablet in place they can flip around so you want to make sure before you do that you go ahead and just try connecting the little magnets and make sure they are nice and strong because if the magnets are flipped around they're going to be pulling um, they're not going to have a strong attraction and the uh, computer is not going to stay hooked to the keyboard very easily um, so that's one other thing I wanted to mention. Now all you need to do to put the back cover on is just set it right down in place. Make sure you have the logo facing the right way. And just go around to the tablet and just push on all those nice little tabs and everything like that. Um, you can see there's a few that you might miss. Um, so go ahead, look around the edge of the tablet. Whoops, sorry. Make sure that there's no uh, little open areas or anything like that. Um, and... Uh, yeah, that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for sticking with me and watching that video. I hope you guys liked the video, and I hope it helped you out. 
I know I didn't see a single video online um, showing how to fix this tablet the way that I was able to figure out how to fix it. So I'm really excited to be able to bring you guys this video. So if you've had a problem with your Switch 10 not charging or not and not turning on and all that good stuff, then I, was ho I really hope I was able to help you today. And uh, if I did help you, please go ahead, click the subscribe button down below, click the like button and all that. We're again trying to get to a thousand subscribers and we will be doing a giveaway once we get to that thousand subscribers. Don't forget about the iPhone 10 giveaway, a link to that video will be right up there, right up there, yeah. Um, so go ahead, watch that, and uh, yeah, see you next time. Reese's Tech Pieces is out.